The legislation is in the works, which would provide school employees and first responders financial help if they get infected with COVID-19. And CBS 4's Mike Jimenez joins us live in the studio with more details on that. Good morning, Mike. That's right. Texas Representative for District 40, Terry Canales, says his priority this legislative session will be focused on COVID-19. Now, Canales filed 14 bills in total, three of them related to COVID. House Bill 34 and House Bill 47 would help first responders and school employees get financial assistance through workmen's compensation. They should become, should they become infected at work. Under current law, they have to prove they contracted COVID during work, but under Canales' legislation, the insurance company would have to prove otherwise. I believe it's our obligation to do all we can to ensure the protection of our law enforcement, firefighters and EMS. And this is about ensuring that those that keep our community safe are themselves protected uh, when they're impacted by this terrible virus. Canales says this legislation builds on actions taken by Governor Abbott in March, which postponed parts of the law to ensure first responders would be re reimbursed for medical expenses related to the treatment of COVID. But he adds the waivers are not permanent and don't go far enough to protect school employees, first responders and their families. Now, the new legislative session will begin January 12th of 2021. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we take a look at more legislation filed across the state. Working for you in studio, I'm Mike Menace.